Hey everybody, this is Janice Wright from the Garrison Public Affairs Office. The holidays are nearing and that means Santa's Workshop, an amazing organization here at The Great Place. We're talking all that and more on this week's episode of The Great Big Podcast. Oh my goodness. Okay, this episode is exciting. I know that it's a little bit early, but it already puts me in the holiday spirit hearing about Santa's workshop. So welcome. I am so, so excited to talk about it. Tell us a little bit about it and who you are. So thank you for having me. Um, my name is Kismet Kennedy. I am the president of Santa's workshop at The Great Place here this year. Um, I took on the role May of this year. And uh, it's just an amazing organization. I love volunteering with them. Um, it puts smiles on all the kids and families' faces, just giving back to our military community. So It put a smile on my face, just knowing yeah. we were going to talk about it. So how did you get started with the program? So I've been volunteering for the last three years through different organizations on base, um, and I found out through a friend of mine who I was ending one, um, a volunteer opportunity and trying to look for some new opportunities and so a friend of mine said you should check out Santa's workshop I think you'd like it and so I came on last year was my first year um, I did the publicity position so that was great it, it gave me my footing to better understand the organization and its goals and missions and this year I took on the president role to kind of push us forward and do a little bit more with it now, I'm familiar with, you know, the premise of the program, but for those who are not, explain a little bit about what the program does. So we give new unused toys to uh, active duty military families, uh, children ages 12 years to six months. Um, we get donations or we do fundraisers to get all these new toys in and then we give them out to the families during the first two weeks of December. Okay, so how do families become eligible to receive these toys? So we do have an ap application process. Um, you can find that online on our website or the link to it will also be on our social media pages. Um, but the families essentially apply, the soldier or the spouse, um, and once we approve their application, we'll reach back out to them and set up a date for them to come shop for the toys. Oh, shop. You had me there. Yeah. It sounds like a, an amazing opportunity, especially during the holidays. It so is. how long has The Great Place been participating? So the organization has been here since 1998. Last year, we just celebrated our 25-year anniversary here at Fort Cavazos. So that was an amazing opportunity to be a part of. Mm -hmm. um, we had a nice celebration during our ribbon cutting to solidify that 25-year mark. And it's just been great support throughout all the years, you know, for the leaders on the base and all the organizations and units that support us as well. Okay. So you talked about mainly how toys are donated. So how do people who want to give, how would they go about doing that? And, and pr pretty much how do you guys get such a, a vast amount of toys to give out to those, you know, who need them? So we have some amazing donors um, that have been collected over the years. Since we also do fundraisers uh, for ourselves. We have donation boxes in different locations uh, for people to donate toys and we go pick them up. Um, they can also reach out to me directly, um, either on our social media. Um, we've got our phone number listed there for the workshop uh, or via email and just say, hey, you know, I have some items I want to donate. We'll set up a time to come get them from you or bring them to the workshop. Well, it so sounds so like a huge task. It, it's, you know, it's not that huge. Um, it's just, you know, a lot of communication back and mm -hmm. forth with people, but it's not that hard. That's the part that I enjoy about it is talking to people, you know, building those relationships, getting mm -hmm. to know them and that communication. So who get who keeps things running? Are, I mean, are there elves in the in the background working? Yes. <laughs> so who, who do we have oh, keeping Santa's the program running? Elves. Um, 
So we have an amazing board uh, that helps run the program. Um, I think it's comprised of about 13 people right now, 13 or 14. Um, and they each have, you know, their own separate job in the workshop to get keep the whole nonprofit running. Essentially, most nonprofits are run like businesses, so mm -hmm. there's, you know, a lot of aspects that go into it, not just receiving the toys and giving out the toys, you know. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things that go on in the background to keep it organized, um, to keep these relationships with the organizations and to keep the donations coming in, you know. A lot of nonprofits also are, are, are heavily based with volunteers, so how important are volunteers to your organization? They, the organization wouldn't exist without them. We're 100% volunteer led, so everyone on the board is just given their time for free, you know, and we do it out of the joy of our hearts, you know. Um, a lot of the people have been around and volunteered with a lot of different organizations, and so, you know, it's they just have a giving spirit. That's how I see it. That's how I feel for myself. Um, once I started volunteering, I found a joy in it that I hadn't found in other things. And so it's just being able to bring joy and happiness to someone else mm -hmm. has been the best part for me. And for those who would be interested in volunteering with your organization, how would they go about doing that? Um, you can contact our volunteer coordinator um, via email. It's volunteer at santasworkshopgp.org. Um, you can also visit our website or reach out to us on social media. Um, all our contacts are listed there. Is there a specific um, month or time of the season that you guys start uh, heavily collecting? So we accept donations all year round. Um, even after the holiday season, we'll have organizations reaching out to us to give us things, and we essentially hold on to them for next the next season. Um, because it takes a while to collect the amount of toys that we actually give out. Last year, we gave out toys to almost 2,000 children. Over 900 families um, applied. And so we're hoping to kind of beat that number this year just by a little bit. Because um, this is one of the largest military bases, so I feel like there's so much opportunity to help the families here because there's so many families. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Looking forward to it. Me too. Love it. So more about the amazing Santa's Workshop coming up. Okay, so maybe your commute doesn't look quite like this. But don't let the road throw you an unexpected curve. Many riders would tell you that riding in heavy traffic or on the freeway is the most dangerous thing people do routinely on a motorcycle. Not true. 73% of single rider mishaps happened on curbs. Stay focused, stay aware, stay alive. Readiness through safety. Well, hello, Ms. Stephanie. It's great to have you here today. Hi, thank you for having me here. All right, so you know I'm all excited. You know, holidays are coming up. This puts me in the holiday spirit. Santa's Workshop has always been an amazing program, so I'm just so thrilled that you guys are here to talk about it. So what's your title and your affiliation with the program? What do you do to help out? So I'm the Applications Chair. I'm, I do all the review and the applications. Okay. And how did you, you know, start with the organization? What prompted you to want to help out? Well, I saw their Facebook post looking for board members, and I said, man. And then I saw it again, and then I saw it again. I said, hey, why not? Let's give it a try. And I, I really enjoy it. It is amazing, and I've met amazing people, and it's really, I love enjoy. I enjoy helping the community out. I can imagine. How long have you been doing it? This is my third year. All right, your third and best year. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people can benefit from this program, so it's really important to uh, let them know how they are eligible or if they're eligible. So let's run down the eligibility requirements. So we help active duty service members that are on active duty status, so reserves, National Guard. We help their families, specifically children, six months to 12 years old. Our application process started September the 1st, and it will close October the 15th. This is not a first come, first serve event. We will consider each and everybody's application, but of course, the sooner you turn it in, the easier, the quicker we can go through the process and have everything set and ready to send out our confirmation or denial letters on October the 1st. What actually happens once, you know, applications are turned in and everything, what actually happens when the families get accepted into the program? 
So we send them out an email, and this email contains a link to our sign-up genius so they can sign up for a shop day. Okay, so they actually get to come in and see all these wonderful toys and then just go yeah, picking. Pick everything up. Okay. And is there someone there to help guide them Yes, through? we have our elves there, and they take them to each one of the stations and help them pick out toys for their children. Okay, is there a limit? Each family, each child gets a stocking stuffer and a book. Each family gets a puzzle or a game, depending on the age of the children. And each child gets two toys. Nice. So once again, just to reiterate and revisit, how do people sign up? So they can go to our Facebook page, and we have the link on there, or they can go to our website, which is sansworkshopgp.org. All right. Don't wait. October 15th is the deadline to make it happen with Santa's Workshop. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rhonda Shabazz. I am the Victim Advocate Program Manager for Army Community Service Family Advocacy Program, better known as FAP. And I am Sharon Jones, Family Advocacy Program Specialist. Today we're here to talk to you about October, which is the month of awareness for domestic violence. We have tons of activities that we are going to be participating in. We would like the community to come out and show that support for us. The first event that we're gonna have is going to be October 2nd. It's gonna be at Sadowski Field at nine o'clock. It is our run slash walk. Bring your families, bring your dogs, bring kids, whoever you want to bring, bring them out so that we can all show support. Take a moment for our theme this month is pause what's inside matters. This is going to be our time to pause and reflect on the impact that domestic violence has on our community. And then what's inside matter is about the resiliency that we are helping to build within our community. Every Friday, we're asking everybody to wear purple. It doesn't matter where you are. Post it on social media, tag us, come by, see us. We, we enjoy seeing people and giving the education piece to all of that. So again, October 1st through October 31st, we will be bringing awareness to Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And again, that is our program, Army Community Service, Family Advocacy Program, better known as FAP. And to add to, to those great activities, we will also hold a resource fair on Friday, October 4th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and that will be at the People First Center. Along with the resource fair later on in the month, we will conduct a special Saturday play morning uh, conducted by our new parent support program. It is open to families with children ages zero to three years old, and that will be held at Bronco Youth Center. The beautiful thing about the Saturday play morning is for this particular one, we will be allowing the families to have their kids dress up in whoever they want to be, meaning they will be able to wear costumes. So we expect that it will be a fun event for our soldiers and their families. I'm Eric Rodriguez with your Garrison Public Affairs Office, and this is On Track with your Fort Cavazos Minute. We've got everything you need to stay informed and connected. The Fort Cavazos Department of Public Health is conducting a comprehensive community strengths and th themes assessment now through September 30th. CSTA is an assessment of military communities for health risk factors and needs. It is open to all who interact at Fort Cavazos, including but not limited to service members, retirees, family members, Department of Defense beneficiaries, DOD civilians, and contractors. Responses are confidential and private. To participate, visit the URL in the show notes. The Transportation Motor Pool Shuttle will sunset on September 30th after 15 years of servicing Fort Cavazos community, which will be a pivotal time for the TMP. However, with the implementation of the Cavazos connector, riders will still be serviced post-wide with no break in service. Carl R. Dernal Army Medical Center's Department of Maternal Child Health will conduct the 9th Annual Baby Expo from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. October 5th. The Expo is open to all DOD ID card holders and will provide information and resources about early pregnancy to one-year-old babies, as well as prenatal and postpartum resources at Kerdamsey. The department will also provide tours of the Women's Health Clinic and Labor and Delivery Unit to orient new families. Fort Cavazos community members who have completed a degree or certificate or will be within nine semester hours of completion by October 24th have the opportunity to be recognized for their achievements at the 27th Annual Consolidated Graduate Recognition Ceremony at 1 p.m. October 24th at House Auditorium. To reserve a spot, 
RSVP no later than September 27th at the link in the show notes. That's all for your Fort Cavazos Minute. Stay tuned for more updates and information to keep you on track. More info can be found in the links below. So Santa's Workshop. Absolutely. One of the most amazing organizations we have here at The Great Place. You know, it's nice. Holidays are, are hard for a lot of people, and I think it's always cool to give back, especially when it comes to kids. kids Absolutely. Kids don't really have, you know, the choice of being where they're at. They're just, you know, products of the environment, and to be able to give everybody a fair shake, I think that's one of the coolest things that we can do. And I having agree. that organization with us here on The Great Place is awesome. I agree. I'm just very thankful. I know it's probably selfish, but my kids are grown, <laughs> and I am done Christmas shopping. <laughs> so. I, know, I know my wallet hurts every winter, but shh, we won't tell them the secret. Yes, you have you have little ones, right? I do. How have old one are your little, kiddos? My youngest is four, so she's she still believes in the magic, and so I'm not going to ruin it. But uh, the rest of them, they're all old enough. They they kind of know the deal. Mm. But uh, they still have their hands out when it comes to Christmas time. So they, they expect to be uh, right. wowed, at least a little bit. Right. I mean, like, here we are tipping into October. I feel like this year you snapped your fingers and, and it went by. Yeah. yeah. You know, that that's that seems to be the case all the time. I feel like just a week ago I was getting out of high school and getting ready to jump on, on the bus to go to then Fort Benning. Oh, my. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking now, it's it's 22 years later, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Went by in a flash, <laughs> didn't it? It does. It goes and your four-year-old, you're going to blink, and she's going to be in high school. Don't don't talk like that now. <laughs> no more toys, though. <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Oh, don't worry. It'll be more expensive things. <laughs> yeah, like college? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. We'll see. We'll see. How yes. So speaking of October, man, I got some great news. I am going to school. I am excited. It is awesome. You're gonna have so much fun yes. at the Defense Information School and being out Think there so? on the East Coast. Oh yeah. You guys the, gonna miss me, huh? The DMV area is awesome. <laughs> Are we gonna miss you? We're definitely gonna miss all the I see the how bloopers. you skipped over it. You skipped over <laughs> it. It took you a long time. The blooper reel is gonna back. come out, and we're gonna miss that. Hey, my bloopers are the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're definitely gonna be missed around here. But you know, you're gonna be off learning some good stuff. And, yes. And that's great. Yes, I'm always open to learning something new. You know, in this position, I find that I learn something new every day. I promise, something new every day. It could be small, it's big, but it's something new every day. Yeah, as long as you have that attitude, I think life is pretty yes. awesome either way. So. I think you guys are gonna be still wearing shorts in October, where I will probably <laughs> be having. I'll probably have to wear a coat. I'm sure. I'm sure fall's <laughs> fall is coming up, and we'll have second summer soon. But uh, I know with the end of the month being what it is, I'm getting ready for the best holiday of the year, Halloween. Are you a Halloween official? I am one of those Halloween Are you kids. a fanatic? I am insane. But it's good because I married into somebody who was more insane than me. Okay, so you have a partner that <laughs> shares the, the oh, insanity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do it up. So there's going to be webs everywhere. we got giant witches and different stuff. Oh, so you're that house. Stuff. Oh, we're that house. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the most Oh, my goodness. I look at those houses and I'm like, wow. That light bill is going to be <laughs> tremendous. That's probably why it hurts all the way through the winter. I, I applaud you, though. I applaud you. I used to be like that. I'm just not so much anymore. Yeah, I, I think it's fun. It's it's the one day a year where you can really, everybody wants to be in the movies or everybody wants to be on TV, but it's the one day where you get to do all that and everybody else is doing it with you, so you get to be in this little this little fantasy thing, at least for a day. I think right. That's awesome. Well, just promise, if you guys come into the office in costume, I want to see pictures. Don't don't challenge me because I'm that guy. I think you. I think that <laughs> you know that friendly guy. competition. I think we need to have a, a competition. Yeah. And this year, my costume does happen to be phantom blue, so I might uh -oh. just have to do it. Yeah, I think you should bring it up to Chris. <laughs> I think he'd be game. I, I might just walk in here without without a warning. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that, you guys, we want to wish you an excellent week and all that stuff. Have a great week. I'm going to have a great week. How about you, Eric? It's going to be great for me. I just wish you the best of luck out there. And, Thank and try you. to soak up all you can. It's going to be awesome. All right, you guys. Until next time. Take care, y'all.